Hey fam, it is me, Clarissa here on Clarissa Says Swear. Clarissa Says It On, That's How I Feel. We are back with another video, y'all. Okay, so we're talking about Megan Thee Stallion, of course, and Tory Lane. So I'm gonna give y'all a quick background of the whole situation and give you guys an update of their latest trial, okay? So back in 2020, for those that may have forgotten because it was in 2022 years ago, there was an altercation that happened with Tori Lanes, Megan Thee Stallion, and her best friend, or now I should say ex-best friend, Kelsey. And so they were all leaving a Hollywood Hills um, pool party at, you know, for early thing in the morning, two, three, whatever, one o'clock in the morning, and they got into altercation. Now, for those that really are still lost in the sauce, Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion had a little, you know, sneaky link situation going on where, I mean, I don't even want to even call him a sneaky link. They just, you know, we had good vibes and, you know, one thing led to another. They probably was under the influences of a couple of times and both had it grown, have urges and stuff just happened where they ended up having sexual relations, okay? So... After that situation happened, um, Tory Lane and Megan Thee Stallion continued to, you know, build a bond and have an actual friendship. You know, it wasn't even something that I, I would say like a sneaky link. Cause sneaky link, I feel like sometimes y'all be having like, you know, personal um, feelings towards that person. And I don't per se feel like um, Megan Thee Stallion or Tory Lane specifically had like mad feelings. It was just like, you know, they vibe cool and something to do something that happened and just kind of like was a start to build a relationship because stuff happens between people and it's just what it is so Tori Lanez and the reason why I say that is because Tori Lanez ended up dating her best friend and Megan Thee Stallion never actually mentioned that Tori Lanez and her had relations sexually okay so that's why I say what I said especially with the fact of her best friend now dating the guy who she slept with like, wouldn't you feel uncomfortable? Like, wouldn't you feel like... And that's why I said sneaky link, but like it, you know, I guess you could call them sneaky link, but real sneaky. So anyways, and they were around the best friend and they were all, you know, a trio and hung out and chilled and vibed. And it was just that. So one night, as I'm telling y'all, they had to have been intoxicated. None of them come on center intoxicated, but we all know they were leaving a Hollywood Hills pool party they were definitely intoxicated they were not driving they had drivers and of course security guard and all that kind of stuff and so they are allowed to be under the influence they had got into an altercation tory lanes basically had said something and hinted about the fact that you know megan the stallion and him had relations with the best friend being there and so, of course, it got kind of awkward. And Tory Lanez, from allegedly, allegedly started to, you know, get very rambunctious and very disrespectful with both of the women. You know, basically call them out their name, you know, the B word and the H word and all this kind of stuff about them. And the reason was is because he was trying to cause drama. But, you know, at the same time, they... It wasn't like there was drama that was needed between them. Because at the end of the day, whenever what have happened or what happened between Megan Thee Stallion and Tori had nothing to do with Chrissy at the time. So at the end of the day, Chrissy wasn't like really sweating it, but Tori wanted big beef and Tori wanted um, to feel, you know, domineering you know like these men be having these moments of masculinity and as we all know Megan Thee Stallion is a big alpha and she wasn't bowing down to you know him and his, his feelings so she basically was like mm, you know we did what we did it was what it was um I don't care like it's not the big of a deal and a lot of men try to pretend like they don't be in their feelings and they do and especially with a woman who really basically thinks like a man and can care the F less. And so I feel like that's what happened. I feel like, you know, he was trying to put two women against each other and, you know, cause drama. And they both got big boss mentalities and they weren't going down for it. And it basically hurt his ego and he got into his feelings and it, you know, 
and you know basically Megan Thee Stallion was over the situation so she got out of the car you know and then got convinced to get back into the car they she got back into the car like okay I want to continue on with this I want to just get home I would have good vibes I want to keep it you know whatever whatever and then they started back up arguing so she got out the car again after he disrespected the both of them um you know called them anxious and bees and all this kind of stuff and you know when she get out when she got out the car he was like dance <laughs> h-o-e and he shot off five shots at her all right one of the shots ended up hitting her foot now originally when the police when the police got there when she told the police she said that it was from glass that had shattered okay now the reason megan says that she said it was from glass is because one she did not her being a friend i i, I feel like i'm gonna tell you my opinion my opinion is one i feel like mentally they were all after, like I said, and her being a friend, and not only that, her understanding her placement in this music industry, she really did not want that smoke of making an enemy. Tori Lanez is a well-known artist, you know, and maybe that wasn't her point of being around him, but at the same time, it did help her career. So with that being said, she really doesn't want any foes with any people that Tory Lanez might know because that's what the, oh, I think she mentioned that. She mentioned that in her trial, like the, the people in the music industry is like the big bro, little sis, big sis situation where it's like, if you don't F with one person, you don't F with everybody. And then, you know, now you can't get booked. Now there's issues. Now the person got beef with you and you didn't know about it. And they behind your back doing stuff to tarnish your names and you had no clue, but this person was with it. It's a lot of, a whole lot of drama. And she didn't want that drama. So she was like, you know what? Um, and plus the second thing, which is what she said, that she just, you know, didn't trust cops. Which a lot of people do not trust cops. You know, just because you are famous or well-known or a celebrity does not mean you don't have your own personal training. She's from Texas and she is an African-American queen. Around this time was George Floyd and all that kind of stuff. And so, you know, just thinking about that and being a black woman, a female, sometimes you do play that role where you play things safe. And I feel like that's also what she mentioned is also what happened. But I do feel like highly her decision came from her being afraid of the outcome of people finding out of what specific, what specifically happened and that it was with Tory Lane. Okay. And so once everything is said and done, now it's coming to the point where, you know, everything's hitting the fan. Everything's coming to the light. She admitted that it was Tory and that, um, you know, it, it was what it was. So now they're in this lawsuit. Now he's being sued. Now, the issue with this whole situation is that so many stories have changed. Okay. So many stories have changed. So much stuff has happened. And at the end of the day, all of this is petty and it's crazy. So from her being shot, first of all, nobody believed it at first. A lot of people didn't believe it at first. And that's the first thing that was an issue because as a black African-American woman, people sometimes don't take women seriously. Sometimes people take, sometimes people belittle our feelings because we're supposed to be that strong, you know, presence. And so when we do have that vulnerable moment and need people and need, you know, the audience that is supposed to be on our side, to be on our side, it don't happen that way because it's just not what's portrayed, you know? And so I'm sure she felt hurt and she explained that she felt hurt about that. And not only that, it's like people were coming for her like it was her fault. Like she's the victim who got shot. But due to her music and how she perceives herself as a alpha woman, it was like she was getting that backlash. Like if you didn't, if you weren't that person sleeping around or if you weren't that open with your body, yada, 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 then this stuff wouldn't have happened to you because y'all would never have had sexual intercourse and y'all would never have gotten that far. But it makes it takes two to tangle so it's like y'all always put the responsibility on a woman and almost every situation responsibility first always goes to a woman like i don't understand it always falls on the woman's fault first until it's just like until stuff hits the fan it's like you can't blame the woman anymore it's just you just can't and it, it comes to that point and so now you know she goes through her phase of mis being misunderstood and depressed all that kind of stuff and 
at the same time it's like what's going to come out of this whole situation so right now Tory Lane is on trial for 22 years um, for three accounts of um, I think one was uh, domestic violence assault with a deadly arm and the other one I can't remember right now but it's three charges that lead up to 22 years in jail in prison and so the undeniable question is everybody saying do you feel like that's granted do you feel like you know he deserves that okay do I feel like he deserves to go to jail for 22 years for shooting somebody in the foot no I don't do I feel like he deserves to go to jail yes so I feel like what if he accidentally shot her because he did shoot five rounds at her and said for her to dance HOE and if one of those rounds would have accidentally shot her in the head shot her in the back shot her in the in the face shot her in a fatal way where she can't walk because as we all have seen between 2020 and 2022 she has been running on her feet she has been walking she has been dancing she has been continuously performing which is a blessing but say for instance she got to a point where she was not able to do all of that then we would have a bigger issue so i do feel like he should be held to some extent not just a simple um slap on the wrist and some probation no like you should go to to jail for that like that's not normal you shouldn't just be thinking it's freely to just shoot somebody i don't feel like that and not only that while he was going through the situation another reason why i said i think she's looking out was because while he was going through what he was going through he was on probation he was already on probation this man is from canada oh and they're also thinking about deporting him back to canada but it's just like yo it's a whole lot of whole lot of it's a whole lot of whole lot of that is going on and at the end of the day it's like all of this could have been avoided so the point of my conversation to y'all is i don't really know the trial has not ended but i wanted to come to y'all and talk to y'all about the situation the point of this and i feel like the moral of the story is you got to be careful what you do on both ends on her end and on his end just because you're upset you don't just go off and do anything that you want to do and just because you feel disrespected or hurt doesn't mean you just go off and do what you need to do and just because you make an agreement with somebody you know thinking that it'll be just between y'all and that y'all have a mutual respect and and you know y'all grown da, 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 does not mean what you do in the dark won't come to the light so if y'all gonna be out there sleeping around with people Please make sure that as the people who really are not in your circle, if you're not going to be in a real relationship with them, or who really is on what you own for real, for real. Because Tory Lanez was not. If he got into his feelings and was upset and was trying to push y'all against each other, like, it's just the truth of the matter was. And it's like, did he like you a little bit? And it was, and it was like, you know what? I'm going to just get with, his best, her, get with her best friend because she's not on what I want to be on. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe he really did have some kind of life for her. And she was like, uh-uh. I'm not with that. I don't want to be with that. And I don't want to sell things serious with you. It could have been just with him because everybody's different. And he didn't like that. And he undeniably, underneath the skin, underneath the, the you know, subconsciously always had this ship on his shoulder and moved on to the best friend. And Megan the style could give two Fs. And that bothered him even more. You know, so like it's a lot of things that lead up to this. But what I do understand is, um, life is precious and so he should be held accountable for his actions and his decisions what do y'all think about it what is your opinion let me know i'm glad that you guys were able to join me on another car chronicles and yeah that's about it for me leave your opinions and comments down below make sure you subscribe like and share and i will see you guys on my next video peace love and blessings i'm out